Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about DICOM and how to capture these file details in Python code. Please take note, the installation of Python and virtual environment won't be discussed in this topic. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. What is DICOM? DICOM is the standard for the communication and management of medical imaging information and related data. It's the most commonly used for storing and transmitting medical images, enabling the integration of medical imaging devices such as scanner servers, workstations, printers, network hardware, and pictures, archiving, and communication systems, or PACs, from multiple manufacturers. In other words, this DICOM is recognized in all medical devices. The one that uh, with you, if you go to a hospital, the one that, the one that imaging that flashes on the screen, the output of that is a product or the output files they use is the DICOM. So to better understanding, I'm going to show you these links. To see how this DICOM forms, I'm going to download a sample DICOM viewer from this site, this microdicom.com, and go to this section here, download this DICOM viewer. So how to use this one is, once you install, it will be like this one. So I'm going to open this application. And I'm going to open one DICOM file. Let's say this one. As you can see, one DICOM file composed of this information. So imagine that it is like an image, but part of that image, there's a crucial information of a particular uh, scanning or record of a particular patient. Aside from the old tags here, we have also the information of the patient, including the name, ID, birth date, sex, and others. Also, in the description, you can find this also the attributes which are also part in the record of one particular type of. In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple program on how to dissect or extract all this information and convert it into a Python code. So, okay. So, without any further ado, so let's start with our Python code. To start with, I'm going to create a new file, a new folder here called icon. So I'm going to name this as Daikon Files or Daikon Python. Okay, so in this application, or for the application that I'm going to use, I'll be going to use VS Code. Please take note, you can use any IDE as long there is a uh, Python installed and a virtual environment. Also, you can also use Jupyter for this one. Doesn't matter as long there is a Python, this also should work. Now to start with, I'm going to create a file name file1.py. Okay, so under file here, we need to create a sample code, but before that, we need to create first a virtual environment. Uh, what is a virtual environment? In typical Python, we really need a virtual environment to encapsulate all the package that we're going to install. In other words, this 
uh, concept will will not be affected your physical OS. So to do that, we need to install the, I mean, we need to set up our environment to type with. Make sure you have the Python. So to start, we need to start with Python minus M virtual environment or the PENB and the name of the environment that I'm going to use. So this one, I'm going to use that V, E, and V. Once created, as you can see, it will create a folder here. This will install the necessary executions or necessary package that will hold our package install. So, still waiting. In other application, you can also use the Jupyter, one one of the most common Python GUI or the GUI or IDE. So you can also use Jupyter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So seems we are all done. To start with the environment, you need to go from the package or the folder, and then from this section here, this activate. So right click copy related path and then paste it here and hit enter okay good so once you enter this uh, this one here you will be going to a to a virtual environment folder so this is how our virtual environment should be so if you manage to understand this one, just follow along. You will get, you will get it how I do it this way. But before that, you need to install a package for this one for the virtual environment to be port. Okay, so let's move on. Going back, this is our file, file.py. The first thing we need to install is we need to install the py daikon. To do that, we need to install pip install py daikon. Okay. The difference with this installation, this pip install here will not affect the outer OS. So primarily, this will install within the virtual environment here. So all those uh, package that I'm going to install will be installed in this folder here. Very okay, good. So now we're done. We're going to write our first very own code. To do that, we need to import Py daikon. So I'm going to represent this as daikon. Okay. Also, we need the path of the daikon. So for now, we don't have the path yet. So I'm going to preserve it here. Then we need to call that and assign that in daikon, which is our assign variables here and dc m width so this is the properties or the attributes for pydicom and the path okay so since we don't have yet the dicom we need to get it from my example so I'm going to create a folder here and called IMG. By the way, before going to proceed, you can download a sample of DICOM from these links here. Later after the video, you can get these links under the description below. So from this section here, once you're here, you need to get the DICOM files from one of the example here. These are the pre-made or these are examples 
that they post in here. So you can pick one of these uh, attached here. These are all DICOM files. Okay, so now going to pick a DICOM file here. I'm going to copy this one here. And I'm going to put that inside the folder IMG, the one I created. There you go. Now, going back to our Python here. So, so this is the DICOM file. So to do that, we need to call the path for this one. So to call the path or to call the file, you need to assign in this manner dot slash img slash the name of the file d 0 0 0 6 dot dcm okay now once this path is correct or called it will be read by the property the dicom read so we're going to print this information print x save okay. Okay, so I'm going to clear this portion here. If you're using the latest Python, you can call this in this manner. You can call this by Py. But if you're still using the old one, you can also call the, the old Python, the old Python way, the Python and the name of the file. But since I'm using a latest version, so I'll be using Py space and the name of the file, file.py and then and there you go so this is how you view the PyCom files or the DICOM files so this is how it represents in using DCM read so notice how it is display so a while ago I mentioned this in sample of the that application so these are the tax attributes so these are the represent representation of the file of that particular typhoon. Also, aside from this uh, tag uh, information, we can also read the attributes. So in doing or reading a, a DICOM in Python, the only matter is we need to know what are the attributes uses in DICOM. To do that, we need to type dir, then encapsulate this variable here. What it does is it will get all the attributes that has a in this particular DICOM files. So let's try, hit save, and going to clear this one here, then. Type the file again, py.file.py, and hit enter. And there you go. So these are the attributes that we're going to use in our exercises. So what it does is, these are the naming convention or the attributes that we will be calling in our code. So take note of the name. So if you manage to have an error, and then it says that that attribute is not found, you can use this command dir and check the attributes if, if you can see within this collection here. Okay, so that's it. Now to start, I need to test one file. Aside from reading a DICO, we can also plot this information for this one so let's say I'm going to create a new one let's say I'm going to name this as file to that ty okay of course the first one we need to do is to import by 
as a daikon. And this time I'm going to use OS. This will check our path. So I'm going to call the form OS. Or rather, maybe instead of import OS, I'm going to use the mat, uh, matplotlib. Okay. So since this one already performed the reading of files, so what I need to do is I want to plot this in using the, the package name matplotlib. To do that, we need to import mat. Plot lib dot pi plot as plt. Now, since we don't have this package yet, we need to install. So, to do that, we need to create this here and type pip install mat plot lib. So the question is, what is matplotlib? So this is a library that you can do a graphical representation. In other words, you can plot the, the values of these whatever files that you're working on. It is useful in, make, in displaying a, a graph. This is what matplotlib does. In DICOM, it is also most commonly used. So, good thing that we have this uh, package here. So for now, we're just waiting for this one to finish. Then we can proceed to the next one. For those who are starters with Python, better you need to learn more about how to, to I mean, how this package installed in using virtual environment. So, further than more, also you need to understand also the concept of Python. This will help you improve, especially for this kind of topic. But don't worry, I'm going to simplify this lecture so that we can understand what are the things that we need to understand about on how to capture DICOM. Okay, so right now it's already done. Let's do this one here. Right now we have the matplotlib. So let's continue. Again, we're going to call the path. Uh, since I already called this before, do I need to go by this manner? ing slash d0006.dcm zero 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 oh, uh, that's the spelling okay, so that's the one. okay next again we need to copy or assign this in a variable variable so to do that we need to call the dicom dicom dot dcm with and then we assign the path the next thing we need to do is we will be going to plot this in the graph. So, but for now, what I'm going to show, uh, show you is that I'm going to, instead of doing a plot, I'm going to display this in uh, change the properties. So to do that, I need to call the, uh, the assigned variables here. This is the PLT. So this is the PLT I assign here. Then that image show the I am show. Okay, so in here for this to display, we need the x and y for this one. So for now, I'm going to call the x, which is the property of that dicom. So this is the x dot pixel array. Then I'm going to map this one. So C map plot this and let's say I'm going to make this gray so 
once displayed, it will become gray. Next is once uh, I already set up the properties, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to draw this. I need to show this, this Daikon Ini GY or the Matplot. Okay, that's it. Okay, good. So now I'm going to call the files so, py file to that py. Then enter. Oh. So it says that I have an error with the invalid syntax. So let's check again our path just to make sure. So seems I forgot to put equals here. There you go. Okay, so let's do this again. Uh, now let's try this time. And there you go. See how it represents as a graph geo, I mean as a graph with our image of the of this particular daikon. That's it guys. On the next topic, we're going to explore more about about uh, daikon and we need to uh, we're going to do some slices and we need to slice all this section here so that we can furthermore explore what are the other things that we can do with Tycom using Python. For now, this will end our series for now. Hope you like this video and see you guys on the next video series. Cheers!